This is an introduction to the PS525 pedostatic air data test. This is the basic unit and it weighs about 20 pounds, that's about 9 kilograms. This is the front panel of the tester. It is uh, fully battery operated with rechargeable batteries. It can go all day long on a single charge. To recharge it, there is an external standard uh, charger that's a common unit that just plugs into the charger port and it can be operated with the charger on or off, it makes no difference. It comes with two hoses in the hose kit and the hoses have quick connectors so they snap on to the vacuum port or the pressure port and they can snap off so it makes a very quick and easy connection there's no need to uh, tighten down on threads and uh, fittings and hope that you have it right it just snaps on and comes off now the unit itself has two pumps internally one is a pressure pump and one is a vacuum pump they're independently operated this gauge shows how much pressure is in the pressure reservoir and this switch turns on the pressure pump. It's very quick to charge and this is the vacuum pump over here and the gauge shows how much vacuum is in the vacuum reservoir. And these are the needle valves. They are very fine needle valves and this one here is uh, connected to the pressure uh, reservoir and when the needle valve is opened it introduces pressure into the system which goes to the display to the pressure port and ordinarily it would go to the pedal probe on the aircraft and it can be controlled this way and then with the this bottom valve, it's the pressure vent valve, which when opened will open the um, system into the ambient air pressure so the airspeed system can equalize with ambient air pressure. This valve in the center is the cross bleed or crossover valve. It, is, it can be opened to equalize the pressure on both sides depending um, if that is needed for a particular test. And this side over here is the vacuum control valve, which is connected to the vacuum reservoir. And when it is opened, the altitude display uh, will indicate uh, the change of altitude based on the vacuum control. And that is connected to the vacuum port, which typically goes to the static port on the aircraft. And when this is closed, then the vacuum vent can be opened and the system can be uh, evacuated to the ambient air pressure. The displays of, over here we have the airspeed display which shows in knots, miles per hour, kilometers per hour, Mach, it can also show um, millibars, PSI, millimeters of mercury and inches of mercury. This here is an encoder reader input for a blind encoder. If you want to hook up the wires to it, you can read the individual gray code signals. You can also read the RS-232 output of the encoder. And here is the altitude display showing in feet or meters and it has the vertical speed indicator also in feet or meters. This side will also indicate if you like it, the millibars um, inches of mercury, millimeters of mercury, and PSI as well. And these buttons here are for the leak check system. You can press the leak check button and then start here and it will count down monitoring the change of any change of pressure in the uh, in this side it would be the altitude side and it will record that to the display if there's any pressure change and when you're finished you push the exit button. The same goes for the 
airspeed side, you push the leak check button, it starts counting down, and then you can exit when you are finished. And that's a brief introduction to the PS525 tester. Now the airspeed side will go to 650 knots maximum, and the altitude goes to 35,000 feet. We do have a PS525A version, which has two vacuum pumps internally, which enable it to go to 50,000 feet. But our standard PS525 tester is a 35,000 feet unit. For more information, you can visit PrestonPressure.com, and there you can download the entire manual and have more specifications.